Hello everybody, I am Asad Zaman Biswas. Today I like to discuss about uh, MySQL database, uh, how we can export and import MySQL database. Uh, I like to discuss it first. Mm, I like to discuss it today. I will show you first how using uh, MySQL command we can export and import MySQL database and then I will show you uh, how using PHP MyAdmin easily we can export and import MySQL database. Okay. So, <coughs> what is the uh, command I MySQL query to export and import MySQL database I will uh, write it first then I will show you uh, how to execute this query right. So, this is the command MySQL dump sorry mm, here I will write MySQL dump then hyphen u means uh, username by default username is root then your mm, password ok. Then we will write down the name of the database uh, database name then we will have to write the file name in which our this database will be stored right. So, uh, here what we can write uh, file name uh, file name ok. So, <coughs> let me show you uh, example now. So, mysql dump hyphen u then username root then hyphen p we do not use any password. So, I will not uh, write anything as password. Suppose your database name is uh, let me show I like to um, export this database ok. So, I will write down this name here. Mm, this is the name of the database and uh, this database will be stored mm, I can give any file name uh, suppose I give this file name this mm, josh.sql is the file name where my uh, database will be stored ok. So, what I will do now to execute this query I will have to go to uh, cmd command prompt ok. So, that is why I will write here cmd then I will click enter ok fine we got cmd my where my this uh, folder is located gem folder is located inside f drive right this look inside f drive my this gem folder and uh, I would have to enter inside this gem folder inside this gem folder I will get um, my SQL my SQL folder I will enter inside this my SQL folder and inside this my SQL folder I will get this bin folder I will have to enter inside this bin folder to execute this query. So, what I will do um, in cmd I will have to write down few <coughs> those command to enter inside f drive I will write down here f colon then from f drive I will go to gem folder and from inside gem folder there is my SQL folder then inside mysql folder there is bin folder I will enter inside this then what I will do I will copy this query and will paste in cmd prompt right ok. Then I will press enter there is no password so I will not write here anything press enter right ok that is great now I, now I will go to bin folder and check uh, I am getting this file or not jaws.sql right. So, I will go to this bin folder and let me check j j o s h look 
I got this file and all the tables and all other objects of the database file and the data inside the tables are stored inside this file jaws.sql right you can check it you can open it if you like to see you will get everything uh, of G jaws database inside this page right that means our export is completed right <coughs> now what we like to do now now we like to learn how we can import right so for import um, what we'll do um, we will have to write down i should write this thing here import import database mysql database sorry okay and this is your export okay now i will write down here the required query to <coughs> import mysql database right so what i will write here mysql hyphen eu username username is root then hyphen p password there is no password so what i will do i will have to write down the name of the database where i like to import um, import the file right import the backup that i uh, took before few minutes that means uh, the database name where i will do import right so this is the symbol i will have to use here then i will have to write down the file name where my exported database is stored right so what i will do now i will have to create database so i can create from here or even i can create from php my admin so i will create from here so what i will do mm, i can use this uh, sql query and probably you know about about this page this is your php my admin and to get this window what we will have to write uh, i think all of you know localhost slash php my admin right so this is the url we will use to enter inside php my admin where we can do even mm, mysql task right this url will give us an interface where we can do um, where we will get our mysql database tables and everything right okay but basically the main operation is performed from dos command but actually writing commands here is uh, difficult a tough task and that's why several times user use this interface to work uh, in mysql that to work with mysql database right so now what we will do here we will uh, create a database here so i click here on sql button then i got this and here i will write down my necessary uh, query so what i like to do now i like to create new database so i will write here create database suppose what name i should uh, give here name of the database suppose i give it db name okay they gave the database name is db okay so i click here go Mm -hmm. my database is created so let me check db abc look <coughs> this is the database right now i created right so what i will do now <coughs> i will 
I will uh, give this database name DB and for my file name is this one ok so let me copy it and paste it here right sorry I will copy now this and will paste to your here right and uh, enter password there is no password by default we don't use any password so click enter click enter and uh, wait few seconds okay fine so let me check let me check I can check it from here or even I can check it from my admin so let me let us go to my admin and now click on this DB database and uh, you will see you got all the tables that you exported before few minutes right you can check it from here go to your this database the tables those are here uh, inside this database okay look these tables are now also available this table is now also available inside this uh, db database that means our this task this task import task is completed successfully right even you, you, you can see it from dos promote if you like to say it so to see from dos promote we will have to write few query that is mysql hyphen u then root then hyphen p there is no password so we enter inside mysql server now we will write down the name of the database that is your db okay then if we write down this query show tables we can write it this no we are getting all the tables then those so we became confirmed that our import is successfully done right <coughs> okay fine this is using this uh, mysql query we can do this uh, export and import of mysql database we can do the same work using php my admin let me show it mm, how we can do it suppose uh, this is your db database we like to export this db database and so export it we, we will have to click on this button export right export button and uh, after clicking on this export button uh, after waiting few seconds we will get a page mm, let me wait mm, 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 mm. okay now what we will have to do here nothing just click on the go button just click on the go button and after clicking go button we will get a pop-up box oh no we are not getting any pop-up box our download is started uh, so download is completed so let us see i will click here show all okay look <coughs> we got this db.sql file that means our export wo work is completed uh, you can take this file and keep it to somewhere suppose i take it and uh, keep it inside uh, this uh, keep it inside my pen drive suppose okay now <coughs> So export is complete now I like to import it so what I will do again I will go to your local host okay and uh, let me create a new database now you can do it even on an existing database so I like to create a new one right suppose I will create a new database so I write here create database and database name is db1 now i will click on go one new database will be created and inside that that, that database i will import okay so this is the db1 database just now i created 
so to import it what I will do I will click on this button import and uh, let me wait great now I will click on this choose file button right <coughs> from here I will select uh, where I keep the file inside this pen drive so then this one is the file so I will select it and click on open button okay after that simply I will click on this go button and after waiting few seconds all the database all the tables and the other objects of db tab database will be imported inside db1 database right so let me wait few seconds work is going on it should be done within few seconds work is going on sorry <coughs> it look completed probably ok great look now what I will do uh, import has been uh, successfully finished so now I will check I will go to this look this is db1 folder and inside this db1 folder I am getting all the tables of db database that means uh, my import is completed successfully so that was the lesson today probably you understood what i am trying to say about so if you have any question feel free to ask me and um, subscribe my channel i will come again with so many discussions about php mysql join with my discussion so Mm, today, goodbye everybody. Thank you very much indeed.